Hey guys, it's Dr. Justin Market Johnny here. Today's video is going to be on reverse T3 in thyroid function. We're going to talk about what it is, how it affects your thyroid, and natural strategies we can do to get to the root cause of why it's high. All right, so let's dive in. Before we do, smash that like button, hit that bell so you get notifications of future videos coming up, and put your comments down below. I really want to know what you guys think. It gives me a lot of motivation and uh, ideas for future topics. All right, so let's dive in. What is reverse T3? Reverse T3 or RT3 for short. So in general, we kind of have our brain, all right? Our brain then produces TSH, okay? TSH is produced by our pituitary part of the brain. And then TSH then converts downstream to T4. T4 is relatively inactive. It's about three to 400% more inactive than T3, okay? And then T4 gets converted to T3, and this is about three to 400% more active than T4. So this is our active metabolic thyroid hormone. This is really, really important. A lot of people, they miss this step because, well, once T4 is adequate, then TSH tends to come back down to equilibrium. So most people are only focused on TSH when prescribing a thyroid medication. So once T4 is pretty good, that's a good feedback loop, the TSH, TSH looks good, great, thumbs up, that's it. The problem is you still may have low thyroid hormone, active thyroid hormone, and a whole bunch of thyroid symptoms. And then the X factor is, what about reverse T3? So T4 goes to T3. This is like the linear, like perfect pathway that we want to see. But what happens sometimes is we have the side pathway that happens here called reverse T3. And think of reverse T3 as metabolic blanks in your gun. So you imagine you have a, a magazine and then you have blanks in the gun. They fill up space and when you pull the trigger, you get a noise, but no major bullets come out, right? Well, this is what happens. Reverse T3, we have a receptor site here, right? This is our thyroid hormone receptor site. And we have T3 floating around out here. And this T3 essentially would dock into the receptor site for it to work, kind of like a key going into a lock. Now what happens is we have reverse T3 over here. Okay, and this reverse T3 essentially comes in there, hits the receptor site and blocks it. So when this guy tries to come in, it's not able to do so. So that's kind of what's happening here from a receptor site kind of locking key methodology. Now, in general, we have this pathway that's happening here. There's a couple things that are important that can affect reverse T3. Number one, selenium. So selenium is really important with thyroid conversion. Uh, and it's also important for decreasing reverse T3. So reverse T3 is inactive thyroid hormone. Thyroid conversion 101. So T4 to T3. This enzyme over here is a 5-deiodinase enzyme. And reverse T3 is 5-prime deiodinase and that can affect well, low selenium can affect this conversion and can increase reverse T3. Liver stress is important because the enzymes that upregulate the 5' prime deiodinase come from the liver. Liver stress can be a big thing. So we'll give milk thistle, we'll support um, healthy liver function. Of course, and just decreasing toxins and stress helps. Any kind of adrenal stress, so if we have increase cortisol, or even very low cortisol, chronic stress can cause more reverse T3 to happen. So we have cortisol, AKA stress. We're also gonna have stress from low calorie dieting. If we're dieting and we're doing low calories, we're gonna see an increase in reverse T3 from low calorie. So from diet. So these are all big stressors that could be affecting thyroid conversion. So selenium, liver stress, which would then cause more cortisol issues, and then also um, low calorie and then low selenium. These are gonna be the big factors that are gonna affect reverse T3. And then of course, insulin, high or too low insulin can also affect reverse T3. If we don't get enough calories, um, we're starving, we're actually gonna go very low on insulin. If we're eating too much, especially too much carbs and sugar, that may actually cause insulin resistance and that may upregulate reverse T3 as well. So our functional medicine solutions are, look at the adrenal glands. The adrenals interplay 
with the thyroid conversion via cortisol. And cortisol is going up or down because of physical, chemical, or emotional stress, uh, not enough nutrition, and or not enough certain nutrients like selenium. And selenium is also important for thyroid conversion, but it's really important for decreasing autoimmunity. If there's any autoimmunity there, you can have a lot of antibodies coming in, infiltrating, attacking the tissue, creating inflammation. Also, through the metabolism of making thyroid hormone here, you're spitting off hydrogen peroxide. And hydrogen peroxide can be very inflammatory um, for the, the thyroid. So coming in there, selenium helps take that hydrogen peroxide and neutralizes it to water. So functional medicine, look at the thyroid, look at the full pathways, also the antibodies. TPO antibody, really important. And then thyroglobulin. A, B. These are really important because this can create a lot of inflammation and cause that thyroid gland to be attacked. That can create a lot of inflammation. So we have to make sure that that's dialed in. Create a lot of stress. So look at the thyroid, look at the antibodies, look at the adrenals. And of course, the gut plays a major role in what's happening with the immune system. Infections, leaky gut, malabsorption, poor digestion. So we've got to get you to the root cause. So if you have a thyroid issue, Make sure you look at reverse T3. A lot of times we can see reverse T3 indirectly through low free T3. If there's low free T3, a lot of times there could be a high amount of reverse T3, especially if T4 looks good. If T4 is good here and it's, it's adequate and we see a very low level of free T3, then there's probably a conversion issue where it's going downstream to reverse T3. All right, so if you have a thyroid issue and you wanna dive in deeper and get to the root cause of why you're feeling this way, don't ignore these markers. Click below screen to schedule a consult with myself or colleagues, and we can dive into the deeper parts of what's happening at the root cause. All right, this is Dr. J signing off. You guys have a phenomenal day. Take care.